guys all know the story. Police investigate NBA's Josh Giddy over claims he dated a minor that he had an improper relationship with an underage female. Police in California say they were aware of information circulated online claiming Giddy had relationship with a female minor. Now, here's where I sit with this. People crucified John Morant when he was seen in an Instagram photo waving a gun, right? And we talked about it for for days, right? It was in the news. Uh, I mean, you couldn't escape it. It was everywhere. Uh, you know, it, it dominated headlines. ESPN was talking nonstop about it. And now that this happens with Josh Giddy, you don't hear anything about it. You don't hear anything about it. Police in California have confirmed that an investigation has begun in response to online claims that Oklahoma City Thunder guard Josh Giddy was in a relationship with a minor. Why aren't we covering this the same way they covered John Morant? That's what I want to know. That's the question that I have. And that's what upsets the hell out of me. Because the media reports what the hell they want to report. You're supposed to cover every single thing that happens in the world of sports. This is a big story and is not getting covered. It is not a national story like John Morant was. I have a problem with that. And now that I hear the new report that the alleged team's family refused to cooperate with the investigation, now I have this suspicion that, well, is this a cover-up? You know, what do we know? The claim said 21-year-old Giddy dated a female minor who was possibly 16 years old, okay? Police said in a statement that their phobe aims to ensure a fair and thorough investigation process while maintaining the privacy and dignity of everyone involved. But why aren't we talking about this like we talked about John Morant? We, we went, we went, absolutely insane over the John Morant story. I mean, the publicity was just over the top. And now Josh Giddy been a white man and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to play the race card. I'm not trying to make this all about race, but sometimes you have to pull the race card, damn it, because it is the facts. It is what it is. All right. This is a white man who is not going to be, who is not going to be demonized the same way that a black player would be. Okay. Let me just throw that out there. And I don't care what y'all say. Call me a racist. Say that I'm playing the race card. Say that I don't have all the facts. Say, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but Reality is reality, and it is what it is, and it's the damn truth, and sometimes the damn truth hurt, and people want to deny it, but it is what it is. ESPN has not been covering this story like they covered John Morant or like they covered the other dude, Brandon Miller, okay? You're not hearing, you're not hearing, the, the, you're not getting the same coverage, right? And, and they're they're just like trying to uh, keep this out of the news for whatever reason. This is a serious matter, folks. Why are we trying to keep this hush hush? Why are we trying to push the mute button all of all of us all of a sudden? Why doesn't this matter? Why? What Josh Giddy did, if if this is true, this is a serious crime, folks. And the dude is still able to play while this is all under investigation. That is why I went after Adam Silver the other day on social media. And people saying, well, why is he inconsistent? Why is he a soft commissioner? This is exactly why. 
This guy, Josh Kitty, I don't care how great of a guard he is. He should be sitting his ass on the bench right now. He should be sitting his ass on the bench. He should not be touching or dribbling a basketball while this is under investigation. He should not. At all. He should not. There is no way he shouldn't be playing basketball right now. And people got on Malika Andrews because Malika Andrews didn't attack this story the same way she did the John Morant story. I have a problem with her too. I have a bone to pick with her too. Why are you all of a sudden, why are you quiet and not saying a damn word? I haven't heard a damn word from her. And then Stephen A. Smith had the nerve, the audacity the other day to defend this girl. Really? You're going to defend this girl? This girl has not said a damn thing about it. But if it's John Moran or if it's any other NBA player, you know, she wants to uh, make a big thing about it. Oh, suddenly it's a big story. It's, it's a story that we got to talk about. That we can't, that we can't. Uh, keep quiet. We we can't stay hush hush about it. Why is that? I I just don't I I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Every story need to be treated the same way. And people say NBA players are treated equally. That is not true, because what this is right here, this is some damn nonsense. That's what it is, and that's why I am so enraged and you probably can feel my rage you know this is some bs this is a bunch of bs is what it is i can't believe that major news publications and mainstream media is not on this story like they were the john moran story but if you read be between the lines you you understand why I mean, it doesn't take a rocket science scientist to understand why this story has not really gone public. You know, why they're trying to keep this story uh, quiet all of a sudden. You know, I understand. I get it. I'm a black man. I get it. I get it. And you guys can call me a racist. You guys can unfollow me. You guys can you guys don't ever have to watch another video that I put out there. I don't care because I'm going to say what it is. I'm going to call BS on it and I'm going to speak my damn mind at the end of the day. Damn it. Because it is what it is.